How are you doing today? My name is Coach Ben and today I'm going to give you some ideas on how to give quick and effective feedback in Seesaw. Um, this is the uh, second uh, video on this. The first one we talked about um, adding our face in videos with uh, these cards to give students quick effective feedback. Here's another way that I like to give um, students quick effective feedback and it's with these cards here you see in front of you. So these cards are in Google Slides and you can see I have a few different cards here and you're gonna see in a second how I'm using these cards. Um, they're just slides and I put, you know, please finish your activity, remember to record. These are things that I see that students that I often find myself giving feedback for the same things with. All right, this looks like this one actually needs to be fixed because I uh, doubled these numbers here real quick so you can see in action here. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go to my Seesaw classroom and I'm gonna see I have a few unapproved posts. So let's go ahead and check out what we, we see in here. All right, I see a few unapproved posts here and I notice, for example, in this activity right here. In this activity, students actually need to record, right? And so, um, and they need to take a picture. So it looks like this activity is not finished. And so I'm going to come here, I'm going to click the three dots. Okay, again, going back to the cards, which cards would I use for this, right? Uh, probably this one that they're not finished, right? So I want to make sure I have that one. Okay, and I've simply taken these cards and I've downloaded them as an image from this Google Slideshow. So if you make a copy, switch out your Bitmojis, um, download the cards, right? Then they're going to live in your download folder. So I'm going to, again, come back here. I'm going to go to edit this post. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page, okay? And then I'm going to take this uh, feedback card, and it's either in Chrome, it might be at the bottom, or it could be in my downloads, okay? Let's grab this downloads and just drag and drop, and it's taking up the whole thing. And then I can even add a voice comment. Hey, good job, Jameson. I noticed that you uh, started your activity, but it looks like that you need to finish it. So if you can go ahead and finish the rest of the cards and take a picture and record, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. Good job. And hit done. Now, okay, notice right now this card is at the bottom. If this card is at the bottom, students aren't going to see it. But if I move it to the top and I'm just dragging and dropping, student, we're going to see what happens. Okay, now watch. I'm going to move this to the top. Now, here's the magic. I'm going to hit draft. Okay, I'm going to put it in draft. Boom. I'm going to see draft. Student, turn this in. Okay, so hmm, what does that look like and where do the students get something like that? If I take one of those cards and I add it like that, well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and flip over to Jameson's account. You can see I'm in Jameson's account right here. It says student, right? So I'm going to go to click on my activities. Like right away, I'm going to see this right here, finish response. See how it, this pops up here, finish response, right? It goes right in my to-do where normally students see. I can also see it here in progress, but now, previously, this might have been in the done category with these other um, with these other activities. But now it is back in the to do, and it's up here on the top. So when the student clicks finish response, the first thing they see is this video right at me that they need to finish, and then they can just simply play the video, right? Hey, good job, Jameson. I noticed that you uh, started your activity, but it looks like that you need to finish. So then, obviously, the student could go back, right, resubmit the video, and when they resubmit the video right look at the activity it is now no longer here so going back to the teacher side again this was the student now as a teacher I can go back in and I can see right did the student actually finish the activity did the student actually finish the activity right and so that was this icy colors one I can see again looking at a different way Jameson reviewed it and I can click on it and I can review it right now let's say I reviewed it and the student did it how, how can I give the student another chance of feedback well I'm going to come back here to my cards and look, here's this one card that um, I see. Because, you know, sometimes I give students feedback and they don't correct it, right? Am I going to keep resubmitting it to them? No. You know, eventually what I might do if students uh, keep giving feedback, sorry, and I don't correct it, then you know what? I'm just going to approve it. I'm not going to worry about it, right? But if I want to let the student know that they did a good job, again, here's my card. I'm going to download this. Oftentimes, you know, there's a spot you might want to keep it on your desktop. Okay, I'm going to go back to Seesaw. Here's the activity the three dots, right? Edit the post. Again, add a page down here. Take it from my downloads folder. Drag it up here. Uh, move it to the front and click the check. Now I do, when I do this, I do unfortunately have to approve it again. Look, I have to go back here and you can see that I actually have to uh, approve the activity again. But the one thing I do like about it is that when I go in activities, 
And if I'm looking at this particular post, I can see that I've given Jameson feedback. He's fixed his feedback here, right? Just by looking at this post. So hopefully these uh, cards help you think about giving feedback. Again, I like them because where it puts them for our students, going back to the student view, right? It, they, the comments might get hidden in the inbox. This part it puts it right back into their activity feed so they can see it. Um, they could also access it through um, the notifications as well. But again, that's a little tricky. See, it says your item was updated right here and it shows them this image. So again, parents can see that you uh, you saw the feedback if they're connected. And I just think it's a great way to give feedback. You don't have to worry about how you look. Um, you can just give quick feedback right there. There's a few other uh, spinoffs of this, but I'm not gonna cover those in this video. So hopefully that helps you think about ways that you can give quick feedback to your students. All right, good job.